Yeah. So are we live? Yeah. Look at this, we're both here right now, Becky, too. Hello! Hello! Hi, John! Hi, noon! I wish it were high noon. High noon? Yeah, I would like to be high at noon. High at noon? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Victoria, you, would, hello! What would, hello. What, would, what would you get high on? I don't know. You don't strike me as the type Embroidery! To, Ooh. I was going to say, you don't strike me as the type to, uh, you know... I'm not. Go down to the Massachusetts border and I, go to one of those... If it were legal, in my, if it were legal, I definitely would give it a whirl. Apparently. Because I, I think it might calm, my, calm me down. I need I need to be more mellow. Yeah, I... Mm -hmm. But mellow. Oh. no can do. It's not I can allowed. think of you like on Dazed and Confused. You'd be like, be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> 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 anyway, okay, thanks anyway, for joining hey, us Jean. for another episode of Shenanigans. And Jean is still in the morning. In the morning? Yeah, Jean, Jean, yeah. were you just getting up, girlfriend? She, she, she could be in the morning. Time, yeah. time zones. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've got a full house in the classroom. We've got a we lot do. of We're doing some paper pieces yes. the Judy Niemeyer way. Yay! Okay, so I guess we'll get right into it then. Shop news, classes, check out the website. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're slowly adding stuff. We do have a, a binding class that we really haven't advertised too much, but we do have a binding class we're going to be doing this Friday. Is that from, the Brenda way? Yes, from 10 to 12. Um, we still have a few more seats for that, so if it's something you're interested in, just um, give me a call. Let me know you're coming so we can make sure we have space for everybody. Um, it's 10 to 12. Brenda just shows you how she does it, and she does all the bindings here, so she's done a lot of them. And it's a real... And, She's allergic to handwork, so you know it's going to be done by machine. Done by machine. Yes. All done by machine. Um, and then the only other thing is we had some fabric come in that it's been nicely... I feel like I've cluttered us up today. Us. I'm really sorry. Yeah, but you see, we have so, somebody thought ahead and put this panel up for us. So that panel came in uh, yesterday. We still have to get it up on the interwebs. That's, there's a couple, That's really cute. Um, there's another one very similar, um, more um, farm animals, but... And then we've also got um, some coordinates that go with it. So, and um, like I said, all we got was uh, two different panels, very similar, and a couple coordinates. Nothing really outrageous, but it's super cute. We've super got a, cute, baby. Um, we should have the um, sample done up here in a minute because all we're doing for a sample, we kept it really simple. We're just putting a border, or two borders on it. Looks really nice. She's not like customizing it using her luminaire. She might, but the quilt top itself is just going to be okay. panels and borders. And if you like it... Every time I see something like that, I'm like, oh my gosh, you could... I mean, if, Christine, if Christine's watching, come pick up a panel. She's the one that does all the cool custom work. Oh. She could have some fun with that. Oh, yeah. Um, but if you like this, uh, stop in and pick it up. We'll have it available online um, before the day's out. Tonight. Uh, tomorrow, tonight, yeah. <laughs> uh, the last panel I showed you two weeks ago, the really cute little baby animal one, yeah. were sold out. Just to give you an idea, a lot of this stuff comes and goes really quick, especially, especially the, the baby, the baby stuff. stuff, especially. So because he never gets enough in. Well, I don't, <laughs> I, we're lucky we got it because it yeah. was backordered yeah. on that stuff. Baby yeah. stuff isn't very exciting. I mean, why would I want like three bolts of baby panels? <laughs> it's very cute. I do have some fun stuff it's coming in. I had to order some timeless the, treasure. The, my favorite thing is the Teddy swinging on the moon. Yeah. So, so anybody I, catch this? <laughs> Only so you, you a little something for everybody in this That's piece. what she said. I did not see that till you just pointed it out. It's riding a rocket. I can't, um... Yep, just... just That's yep. what she said. I just ruined it for everybody, <laughs> didn't just I? Totally ruined it. Nobody's going to buy our panel. Though. <laughs> We're going to get like a, there's going to be a weird demographic that buys it. Ooh, now it's worth... Now it's worth even more well, It's like, yeah... Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, but yeah, no, I've got. Uh, I had to order some timeless the other day. And if you don't know, timeless uh, usually has the. Um, there's a designer every year. They do like a, what they call the wicked line. So I picked up a couple pieces out of that. So when the timeless comes in, we'll have some really cool Halloween themed. It's like wicked. tarot, wicked. tarot cards and skulls. Oh, wicked. Mm. Wicked. 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 Awesome. Wicked, wicked in like the original sense of the word, not in the New England sense of the word. Uh, wicked awesome. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked yeah, awesome. Wicked awesome. Anyway, yes. so oh the other other thing we have for shop news is we do have sewing machines finally. Yeah. Um, I had them come in yesterday. We got some PS five hundreds on the floor, some PS seven hundreds, and a BQ nine fifty. I do not have the 1350s yet. I've got a, I've got like five of them on order. At some point, they'll get in here. That's the one everybody likes. But the PS500 is another really good one. Um, kind of a nice entry-level machine, a fantastic machine for the money. We've got a couple of those and some PS700s. The other thing is we do have a Dreamweaver that came in on trade. 
that we have cleaned up and ready to go. We're going to be doing that guy for four for four K. Can I say four K or four thousand sound better? I don't know if you can even say that. Can it's, you say it's, that? it's a dream machine. They don't okay. make them anymore. No, it's a dream weaver. I mean a dream weaver. I'm sorry. Yeah. Dream weaver. Dream weaver. And it's those, yeah. So it's a VM 6200. It is. Um, she traded used. up to a Luminaire. Yeah. My favorite. <laughs> but I do. We do have that in here on the floor. If it's something you're interested, in, you can come take a look at it. Um, if you're seeing this on the interwebs, give me a call. We can probably figure something out. And then I suppose the brother internet police are going to call me and say you can't sell. But um, uh, you have to come to the store to buy it. I think is the rule. But anyway, just... it doesn't matter. We have one. If you want it, it's a really good deal for the money. It'll be. It, um, It'll get you get you up in hoop size. The Dreamweaver is a fantastic machine. What's well, the largest hoop the Dreamweaver does? The Dreamweaver can do up to an eight by twelve if it's been upgraded. Eight by twelve if it's upgraded. If it's not upgraded, it does a seven, seven by twelve. Seven by twelve. But it does have the laser. Okay, but it does not have the scanner. It does not have the scanner. And it does uh, not have the projector. That is correct. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. But Just for make like it said, clear, yeah, the but for the why like it's said, less money than the dream. But it's got the big throat on it. So if you're also looking to do like quilting and stuff, it does have the bigger throat. Mm -hmm. So like I said, for the money, it's a nice machine. Not quite like I said, if it was a dream machine. Well, we had a dream machine, but I'm pretty sure it's so. No, she hasn't paid yet. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but she's still smiling over there. So. <laughs> um, but yes, so that's all we've got for shop news. So I'm gonna turn it over to Becky for. Quiz time. Now, so help me, people. So help me if you don't get this. We can't unsee that. I know. I'm sorry, Jean. I can't unsay it either. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know. I My brain just does things it shouldn't I, do. Yeah, I know. That's... I know. I'm trying to be professional. It ain't never going to happen. Yeah, that's why they watch you for your professional. Last, <laughs> year, last, I almost said last year, last week. The quiz time was a big flop because nobody got the answer. You're going to ask the same question? I'm going to see if you listened. Because, yes, I'm going to ask the same darn question. Is the quiz, what was the question? <laughs> that would be good. Oh, I'm tipping over. <laughs> I haven't gotten high. I'm still tipping over. Um, last week, nobody got my quiz right. I was so upset. <laughs> but I had showed you in brilliance on changing colors, uh, changing the thread property to be applique position. And I did that for a reason. What was the reason? Oh, mm -hmm. wait, wait, we got a, we got an answer from our studio mm -hmm. audience. She has gotta to wait. Give gotta wait for delay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Michelle, it looks like I got a dance. Long enough. Carolyn, Carolyn had her hand up. What was the answer, Carolyn? The so the machine would stop? No. No. Gene? Gene says to create SVG files. Yeah. 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 She's usually online doing this, and now in the studio audience. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, is that Gene Gene? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Hi, Gene. <laughs> I didn't know that's who it was. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I didn't either. She's live in person today. Nice to have you. I love that we say studio audience like we're like some sort of real thing here. We are a real thing. No, I'm are. a real thing. I know, but it's, it's sometimes it's weird when you stop and think about it. What you know, 20 years ago, if you were going to be on television, hey, two, you needed like all. Took me two weeks to get Jean to know the answer, but she knows the answer. Yeah, so there you go. Ten dollar gift certificate. Woohoo! Nice moves, no answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turn. yeah, these moves were good for something. I got a ring on it now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, so that was oh, quilt of the week. Yeah. I totally spaced our quilt of the week. Gee, that's new and different. I was focusing on all sorts of other things. Sure, you were. We I fixed can... your machine. He was busy. Yes. So I have failed at quilt of the week. I'm just trying to help you out, Brett. Where's my turbo tip? I brought it in. It's okay, so I'm not only failing. Turbo tip. I'm sorry, I'm looking for it. Oh, well, I see it. Okay, so. What was that? So, yeah, I failed that quote of the week, so we're going to move over to the turbo tip. Yeah. How are you back there? You're fired. Oh, what I, what <laughs> he, I, could, he could only well, help. Well, what, what, what I wanted to use, um, we ended up hanging up in the window because my kid made a quilt and oh, it was really stop cool. Stop making oh, excuses for not being it's prepared. Nice, 
Good job, Eddie. Okay. Turbo tip. That's this is some fanciness. This is yours. This is your brother. Yes, I read. Stand. This is this is this is part of the stand. Yes. Yes, this is the stand that you can come in and buy at Four Pines if he has them in stock. This is the 10, the 10 position on. Now, i got to tell you, it doesn't change the thread for you, but the reason I really like it is if I'm doing... I don't remember this stand. Did I sell it to you? <laughs> yes, this is the Brother 10 Needle stand. Oh, the 10 Needle. I mean, not 10 Needle. 10 position. 10 spool. Yeah, I know that we they, they use it on the back. I didn't realize that they were making them with the whole... Oh, yeah, suitmate. it's really cool because okay. I can load up to 10 threads. Now, what I do... Let me turn this around. Oh, it's the same both. You have slots, one through ten. And what I do is I pull my different colors through each slot, and I use my little clips. You know me and my clips. <laughs> I put them on here, and I write on what color it is. And this stands behind my sewing machine. I yeah. take this off because that gets in the way. Yeah. Stand it behind my sewing machine, and when it comes time to do my thread, I'm not doing this all the time. Like, this drives me crazy. And we have to do it sometimes where you take one spool off and you go, gee, 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 wind up, set aside, get the other one. Gee, gee, gee. I eliminate all of that because all my spools are here. And because I use my little clips, it doesn't fall apart and get all wiggly waggly. When I'm not using the color, I close it with the clip. When I'm done with it, I close it with a clip, cut it off, pull the next one. So I'm not rewinding my thread spools every time I have a color change. Ah. I'm just going clip, 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 and I'll actually write on here my numbers so I don't have to go, where is 734? Where are it? I'll write 734, 1021. I'll put the colors right on here and they wipe them off between projects. That's kind of cool. It's very cool, and it's so cool, and I like it so much that I also got a 20 position one. Oh, my. Now, the brother doesn't make that one. Okay. But what that allows me to do. I was going to say, do, that one I know I haven't seen in the I have 20 threads that I can load and label and keep going. It, has, what it's, it looks just like this one, except it has another tray at the bottom. Cool. Lots of times I use the tray at the bottom to store my most commonly. Like my, in, you know, the Invisifils, the washaways, the mm -hmm. specialty stuff, and I'll just use the top and keep my other specialty threads on the bottom. But a lot of people say to me, what does that do for you? Well, it makes me much more efficient. That's what it does for me. Because I can label, if I can label right across here mm -hmm. and easily see what I'm doing and not spend my time taking, moving. To, I'm not moving any spools anymore. And this is a brother... Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know. Thread rack. I know. And now you better get some in because I'm telling I you. I will because I do things. not live without this. I had to clean it up for today. Right, okay. That's my tip. I like it. And it does come apart for storage, but yeah, yeah, no, I like this it. This all comes apart too. Yeah, I see well how made. they did it. Yeah, I see how they did it because this this, this is this based on the one that they had on the back. I didn't realize it had yeah, a, a bottom. Yeah, it just puts a nice stand. Yeah, whenever I when I saw that in the catalog, I said I assumed that it was went on the back of the machine, which I'm like, why would you do that on Luminaire? Um, you can't hear me. It means you gotta yell. Boy, that's so a, you can hear him? people are having she trouble hearing really me. Really Sorry, louder. usually I'm the loud one. Um, if you want, turn yes, me thank on. you. Well, oh wait, the volume. I can hear you there, but you can on the. Okay, these That's are really, the this is really cool. Anyway, Brent. No. Okay. It, it's one of those things like glue sticks that you should never run out of. Okay. So we got to figure that out. No. Turbo okay. tip. Turbo tip. Okay. That was my turbo tip. Okay, now for the bench, the workbench, we're not going to get into technical things today. Why? Because it's Brent's workbench, and I thought this would be a good place to talk about Isn't some of Brent's history, Brent's history lessons? No. <laughs> some pet peeves. Okay. Not really a pet peeve, but... As many of you know, we run long arm quilt machines here. And unlike lots of long arm quilters, you drop it off, we're gonna quilt it. So we're not picky if you got wavy borders. We're not picky if it's been in the, crammed in the laundry basket for the last 10 years. We'll throw it on a machine and we'll quilt it. So because of that, <laughs> we have some stuff that comes through that's like, what's going on here? But what I run into, what, um, what we run into a lot, cause like I said, we're really easy going. It's, we're just, that's the way we roll here. Well, I, we run into that's sometimes. That's the way he rolls. Yes, but that's that's how <laughs> that's it's. I'm I running, but that's I'm running the long arm machines. <laughs> but anyway, pretty much anything that comes through, we throw on the machine. What we I've run into a couple times in the last 
month or so, because we've had a lot come in since Christmas, we, we have a ton in, it's been crazy, is I just want to talk about quilt backs real quick. Because um, I think a lot of people have taken up the copy of quilting and are getting into quilting. And they may have not, you know, there's, you know, you might say, I, I want to get a quilt that you bring too long and I'm going to take care of it. Um, we have people bringing in quilt backs that are the exact same size as the quilt top. Uh. Um, and there's ways to work around that, but that is a problem from a long arming standpoint because you need at least a couple inches top and on the top and the bottom to attach it to the frame. More like four inches. Yeah, I'm, I'm being, at a least, couple is close. At least, four. I always said le at, least at least four, four inches when, wider and Yes, yeah, so that's what I tell people, four on every side. Um, so what happens is uh, we've gotten a few that are really tight um, and we can make it work, but always make sure that your quilt back is a little bit bigger than your quilt top. Minimum I know that most of you are watching this. Actually, four plus four is eight. Yep. Eight inches wider. Yes. Eight inches I'm sure wider. most of the people watching this right now already know this. But I just wanted to put that out there as a tip, and I'm sure it'll show up on our YouTube as like, oh, quilt backs or whatever. We'll do a fun thumbnail. But I just want to throw that out there because we have a lot of people have started, uh, we've seen a lot of new people quilting. And one of the things that I have noticed is there's been a few backs that are close. Some that are just not big enough well, at all. Well, I don't all. think people understand how we, you have to anchor it. Yeah. Uh, on but the I machine. also, the other thing is, I think people also go by what's listed on the pattern sometimes, and they don't oh, actually measure. yep. And so then they just buy it back based on what's on the pattern without measuring anything. And they're like, oh, this should be big enough. And then we get it in here, and it's six inches short on the machine. Yeah. So it's one thing. Just make sure that your quilt backs are at least... Um, Eight inches. I can get away with six inches overall bigger, eight. but eight is better. Um, and then that brings me to my next point, which I think I've talked about this before, but I'm going to bring it up again just because I can, <laughs> is two-sided quilts. I know everybody thinks that's a really cool idea. You make a quilt top and another quilt top and use one quilt top for the back of the top so we can flip it over and have two sides to your quilt. Mm -hmm. That's a pain in the butt when you're trying to long arm to line that up. We can usually get it close, but it's never perfect, and it's a pain. And why do that to yourself? You've made two nice quilt tops. Make two quilts, and then just swap them out. <laughs> I mean, I get the I get the concept. It's a nice concept, but from a long arming standpoint, it is difficult to get it to line up right. So if you are doing a quilt, a two a two sided quilt. Keep in mind that if you are going to have a long arm, your long armor, um, talk with your long armor ahead of time because you, there, there's going to be some limitations to it. It um, gets very custom at that point because you, the yeah, alignment has, you, we're not just laying down a piece of blank fabric. Yeah. That we can put it You've got to, you've got to make sure the back, you got to work with the back and the front, make sure it lines up. And that's very hard to do when you get it on a long arm machine. Mm. Um, so if you are making a two sided quilt, talk to your long armor before you commit to it because I I, I will yeah. talk you out of it if I can because I would say make two quilts it's easier for us to long arm and then you know you can give yeah. them away yeah and, uh, the and the batting yes the batting you can uh, we got a little bit more room for error on the batting if the batting is the exact same size as the top it's not good because your batting might not fill out to the edges all the way but you can still get it quilted um, because you're you're using the base for the quilting is actually the back yeah. But yes, make your Don't batting. Don't we usually supply the batting? Yeah, we've got people, batting here. Yeah, we've got batting here. People, so, do people bring in their own batting? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they do. Mm -hmm. But the thing, the nice thing about it, we have batting here. So sometimes people bring in their own batting, and it's just not even close to big enough. Yeah. So we'll just um, grab something off the shelf and get it sorted for them. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's another thing. And the other thing, from a batting standpoint, I'll throw this out there. This is. Brent stuff. I don't know if Becky will agree with me on this at all. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but we do this a lot when we do samples. Is we'll take scrap batting and piece it in as we're as we're quilting, just to use up this the um, what we've got kicking around for batting. Um, the downside to that is where the batting butts up. You'll get a, you can get a it can get a little lumpy. It's not awful, but I don't do it on customer quilts just because there's a quality. But if it's one of ours, I do it all the time. You really can't tell, but that is. That is an option. If you do have a lot of scrap batting and you just want to use that in your quilt, bring it in a bag and we'll do it in for you. Um, don't bother piecing it all together with zigzags and all that. Just bring in all your scraps and we'll save make it, it work. Save it for placemats. Or mm -hmm. save it for placemats. But, um, yeah. That's all I had for the workbench today. Just, you know, make your quilt backs big enough. <laughs> Eddie didn't give us our graphic. How are you going to know to cut that out? Because that is a YouTube segment right there. He's, for too, busy. Novice He's too busy drawing a picture of you. Deleted all the graphics. Oh, all oh, the fun graphics. Our producer deleted all the graphics. Well, that means we're gonna get cool new ones. 
Oh right? my goodness. Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. I was going to, because I, did, I okay. also didn't get the turbo tip either graphic, you know, oh, with the, with the flaming. Oh boy, you let me down. Okay. Well, I'm excited what he's going to come up with for the new one. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So that's all, right. all I've got. So we'll turn it over to you for whatever we got going today. Okay. Well. <sighs> okay. I'm looking at your Mac mouse right there. Why hasn't Mac figured out two buttons yet on their mouse? I don't need two buttons. There is two buttons. No, there's no one. I don't need one. two buttons. No, there's left and right. right oh, there's there. no. Okay. I, I don't need them. See I the glare. I, I remember the yeah. old days where they only had one button, and I just always used to irritate me. Not being a Mac person, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, it's well, one button on a regular mouse. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm still going down these rabbit holes of trying to get myself to be more efficient. Okay. When I get stuff done, so I was going to put this on the easel, but somebody we can, else we can, my easel. We can take this off the easel. Your snowman's under there too, still. So. Oh, we have a pile on our easel. <laughs> This is a this is a block from Claudia Dinnell's Snow Country Express. I've showed off. You want some to zoom of, on that, Eddie? I've showed off some of her other blocks before. Um, sorry for the hoop marks, but this is fresh out of a hoop. I when and this is for you people to think about stuff. Remember last week we sort of about think about instructions. Um, read through them and then think about the machines you have at your use. Because lots of times you can save a lot of time, money, for materials if you just go, oh, I have a Lumineer. I have a Brother Dream Machine. I have a, oh, I don't need to do it that way. This particular block was done via instruction in three hoopings. Because they're thinking it's an 8 by 12 hoop and you don't have a scanner. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do it with three hoopings. And I did the first time, because I was in the class. So where are the, is it like three across, or is it, how do they do the three hoopings? Um, I'm going to show you. Oh, I'm sorry, this, I'm getting this ahead. Guy, this guy's one, yeah. this guy's another, mm -hmm. and this guy's another. But I'm guessing from the giant hoop marks, you didn't do it that way. I did not. Okay. Because <laughs> I have... A giant hoop. A luminaire. I also wouldn't have done it that way with the um, dream machine, because I could at least get two hoopings. Yeah. Um, when you first go to do it, though, it wouldn't let me do it because she has all these outside registration marks that were getting in the way. And I, so at first I went, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. But then I went, wait a minute, Becky, you have a scanner. Or an imaging. Uh, I keep leaving out the other brother yeah. people. You have a brother with imaging capabilities. Yes. You do not need those registration marks. So if you can just eliminate all that outside garbage, you can fit this in one hooping. And how do you get rid of the registration marks? I'm, I'm trying to give you your segue. Yeah, I, I see that. Okay. I know. <laughs> I go to in brilliance, mm -hmm. in brilliance, in brilliance, in brilliance. I'm going to tell you it's worth. I'm what I'm demonstrating is going to be something that I uh, use all the time. And which version of in brilliance? Well, which which level of brilliance do you have to go to to get this capability? You have you have to go to the essentials level. So that's the first one. Yeah. The hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, 100, I'm not. Yeah. Here's the general rule. If I'm not creating from scratch, mm -hmm. I don't need to go sti uh, stitch level. Okay. Okay? Which is, what, 350 We were just talking about we that. I was, it's still I was surprised how expensive unbelievable it was, yeah. good deal. It's like $350. Um, but if I'm creating from scratch, that's when I need to go to the stitch level. Yes. Okay? That's a general rule of thumb. If I'm not going from scratch, but I want to alter a design and then send it to my machine, I'm going to use essentials, possibly enthusiast. Enthusiast isn't really a builder upper of essentials. It gives you other capabilities. So it's kind of like a lateral movement instead it, of a. Yeah, it, okay. it, gets, it does like knock down stitching. Like if you're doing towels and yeah. you want to do knock down stitching around you, it has very specific tools in it. So most people, I of course have it, but most people will end up either going essentials or stitch level. And, and then, never touching enthusiasts. Enthusiast, yeah, okay. But enthusiasts has some good stuff. But it has like some specific tools. Very specific yeah, okay. tools. You don't have to go essentials, enthusiast, stitch level. You do not. You can skip enthusiasts and go straight to stitch. Yeah. Okay. Or you can go straight to stitch and skip essentials. 
Um, I don't know. Okay. We'll I don't know, actually. I think you can get it all in one, one, yeah. one thing. I think you get essentials as part of Stitch. That's, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Or you just upgrade yeah. as you go if you don't want to spend all the money at once. But anyway, so, yeah, I, I do it that way. So on my screen, Eddie, can you switch to my computer? I have my famous and brilliance up here. And you'll see, I wish I could turn it, but... Here's your picture, picture, Ed. Um, this is what is three different designs that I grouped all together and this square up here represents Your my hoop. hoop the other thing and uh so essentials does is very nicely lets you create any hoop if you you need you can make any hoop on the fly but it, this is my hoop so it's turned sideways because when I load it in my machine it's gonna go side, yeah. I'm gonna load it up that way um, now, in the software, if you yes. load up a pattern that's outside the hoop size, it will still load. It'll just show up outside the hoop? It yeah. will. In okay. fact, to shut off your hoop, if the hoop's bothering you, you don't have to see it. You can turn your hoop off. I like to use oh, it I think when it's I'm good, designing. Yeah. But you can just say, look, get out of my way. You're driving me crazy um, in preferences. But what I wanted to show you is I wanted to, I wanted to do an open. I want to bring in her first, her first one. Now, I know from doing this that that first pattern is going to stitch in the center of my panel. She always has us mark the center of our panel. Okay. Now, she goes a step further and has us make more markings as well because she thinks we're going to multi-hoop. Yeah. Guess what? I don't need those other markings. But They're that being necessary. said, she's done a nice job with the pattern. So if oh gosh, yes. If you I'm don't, yeah, talking yeah. about because oh, no, I'm I just have... saying. I'm just saying that if you have a smaller hoop, she does, a, fanta the, she does yeah. a fantastic job of making this. Oh, work. The, 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 it does. Yeah, the directions are good for I'm that. I'm just thinking if you have a bigger than 8 by 12 hoop. Yeah, this is how you... You shall yeah. take advantage of using it. So I mark this. I know this is where my center is going to be. When I bring this up, Brent... You're going to see it has a registration mark right here yeah. that's going to coincide with the draw lines. Oh, I brought up, I put this panel up and I brought up a different thing. Dumb, dumb, <laughs> dumb, 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 that's a different one. You can join our club. I'm joining the dumb, dumb club. Is there a dumb, dumb club? Tubers is what I want. Dum dums. You ever get the dum dums on Halloween? Like when you go trick or treat yeah, and you get the dum dum yeah. lollipop. Give me a tootsie roll pop. Ice those are awful. Is what I, I think, have I think as those an example like... up there. Ice skating. Shame on me. Let's bring up skaters. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. So this line right here represents the center of my. So that's going to correspond, Eddie. It's going to correspond with this guy right here. You're failing as producer today. It's going to correspond right here when I when I go to line it out. That's what it corresponds. Okay. With, so that. Okay? So that. Right. I'm not going to delete that one. I'm not going to delete him because I'm going to use him. I'm not going to sew him out, but, but I'm not going to delete him. But you're going to use that line as a reference on where to where it lines up when you do it. Yeah. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. This is the fun part. I can't wait. I know. It's I'm exciting. anxiously awaiting the excitement that's about to happen. See this little guy right here? Yeah. That allows us to merge another design with the existing design. Okay, so that's different so, than your open function. Yeah. Okay. This is going to create, I'm going to go pick up another design, and I'm going to put it in this hoop. Okay. Now, you can do the open, and then a copy and a paste, but you, you don't... Okay, so wait, so, so if you, you do just, open, it's going to get rid of what you already have on there and bring if, a new one in. If I do open, it's going to create okay. a, another tab and another window. Okay. I can still get to it. I can do a yeah. copy and a paste and bring it in. Okay. But... Why I want to show merge today is, picture you have, I'm going to use Juju's examples again, where you're bringing in uh, an applique bunny, and she's got balloons, right? Yep. And you want the bunny and the balloons to be together. Mm -hmm. When I do a merge like that, he is so smart that if there's any stitching that's under this balloon is covering up any part of the bunny, mm -hmm. it automatically gets rid of the stitching underneath the balloons. 
on the merge function. Yeah. On the copy and paste function, that won't. Well, that's not true that it won't work. It's just a little bit more. Okay. Now I've got one one design now. Yeah. All ready to go. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go find Snow Country. God, why can't I need bigger, bigger rum? Here we go. Snow Country. Bigger glasses. Those good yeah. Coke bottles you can. Yeah. Like what bubbles did I do? This was the trail park row. boys. Come on. Bottom row, winter. I was supposed to be doing ice skating before I didn't. See how I can see all my different little ice skaters? Mm -hmm. Does that show up on screen okay? Looks awful yeah. dinky. Well, they have bigger screens. Okay, well, here's the one I already have. See how it's checked off? I already have one. Do you yeah. see the little check mark? Yeah. So that's the one that's already been loaded. Yeah, so now I want to go bring in two. Okay. This would represent my second hooping. Now, it came in, and it's sitting right on top of there, and it's driving everybody crazy. But what I'm going to do is move him over here. See him? Yep. That's this guy right here. Get okay, it? Okay, yeah. So I got to rotate him, right? Yep. So I'm going to go and rotate him. Where's my undo? Where's my rotate? Oh, right here. I can rotate him like this. There's a shortcut, too, for getting it, keeping it straight. I was going to say, is there a snap to 90 or whatever? Yeah, there is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him, and now you can see how I can just place him where he needs to go. Now, is there a registration mark that you've got on the previous one that you're lining up, or are you just, it is. Are you just eyeballing it? I know. It? That's a good point. Let me bring it over here so you can see it. Do you see this line right here? Yeah. That represents this right here. Okay. And is that and this second line, is that which one? I will not stitch. Yeah. I will. I will delete this because I don't need it. Once I've loaded it in here, the only registration I need is this one. Okay. Because everything else is going to stay. Yeah. Because I'm bringing it in as one file. So this this other line you see right here. Yeah. Represents two inches away from here in her pattern. But I don't need it. Okay, you don't have that line I, on there. Okay. Well, I don't. Well, I don't need it yeah. either, because I'm going to just place my my diagram, my uh, my. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's make it a little smaller for a minute. I'm going to take him and I'm going to place him in place. I'm going to move my other one a little bit. Make it bigger now. What I'm going to do is I'm kind of making sure he's like centered that way with this line right here. Mm -hmm. And you can see how they're on top of each other, so that's not going to work, right? So I'm going to move him. That's better. I didn't move him in the center. See this zero? That's yeah. the center of my hoop. Okay. I had had him up too high. And this zero up here is, is the other line. One? So I can use these lines to put my so little guys just... in place. And I'm just looking there. So this line here... That should line up with your zero point here to make to, to show you yep. where that's at. Okay. Yep. Now, do you have that? Is there a is there a reference on the first pattern that lines up with that middle line, or is it just this one line here that you get on the first pattern? That's all you get on the first okay. pattern is that line. Okay. And you know from her instructions that that's going to go from here to here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So the top okay. of that. So the top. So of, I know in the so, instructions that that. So first the top of that line, line right there. Mm -hmm wants to line up with the zero line you're coming from down there. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I just want to see the And I, I just... wouldn't end up deleting. I would leave this one in just to help me with my scanner. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't stitch it out. These guys, once I've lined this up like this, I don't yeah. need those anymore. The, those those stitch lines? Isn't one of those the fishing line to the pole? Yeah, I don't want to get rid of the fish. Oh yeah, that line is the fishing line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get rid of that. It would be this one here. Okay. This one here that I could safely delete if I wanted to. Or when I get to my machine, I can just skip over. You can skip over. But yeah. if you're going to do it in brilliance, how would you do that? Or are you yeah, waiting if, if I, to get rid of that line? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now because I merged, this is what I like about merge. How, see how these all have ones in front of them? Yeah. That's the first one I brought in. Okay. Number two, see number two? They all start with twos. Okay. So I so you it's know that safer the... for me to go in delete mode when I know where I'm at. Yep. So this one right here, that is that first registration mark yep. that I don't need. Okay. I'll show you another way later too. And so you can just I can just hit my delete key and it's it gone. Okay. It's gone. He's gone.
So cool. now I can go in and I can do the exact, what, what's our time like? Um, I don't know, somebody just messaged me on my watch. So I can go in and I can pick up the next one. You got about one. 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to show you something, a different way to delete them. Um, Nobody's sleeping out there yet in the classroom. Yeah, they so. are. <laughs> yeah, they are. Bottom row, ice skating. Diana just dropped her head down. Did the, she did the, the nod. <laughs> Notice when I save them. I don't know if you can see this, but when I end up after I put them all you together, do you, you do the nod and you are actually drooling, so the spit kind of. <laughs> when I save mine, I save them with my ice skating. I don't override her files. I yep. never override the designer files. Leave those as is, just in case mine doesn't work. So I'm going to pick up this guy next. Oh no, that's the finished one. This guy over here, right? Number three. Yep. See. And again, he comes in where you don't want him, so you just click and drag him. He doesn't need it, but see that registration yeah, and you line? Got that registration I'm going to put on that same axis as before. Yeah, so I'm tucking him in. I'm going down a little bit. Just, just, I, yeah, okay. These screens need to be a little bit. At home, I have a big yeah. monitor. I don't work on the little dinky monitor. But basically, here he is. See? You made, that, you made that look so easy. And then, again, because I have three and I don't need that line. Oops, whoops, don't delete everybody. I'm on number three. Oh, and I don't you. need that line, right? So, yeah, you have that line highlighted. So, I highlight the line and I delete it and it's gone. And so, now you can now put this whole thing as one. I can send it wirelessly yeah. to my luminaire, which is what and I we, usually and do. And because you have your... Um, your hoop size set up, you know that everything, that because everything's inside that hoop, it's going to fit in the hoop that you've it does. designed it for. Yeah. It does. In fact, when I save it, if it doesn't fit in this hoop, it will warn me it doesn't fit in this oh, hoop. Oh, okay. But it does fit in this hoop. Cool. See? It mm -hmm. does. It fits in this it hoop. It looks good. All I like one it. thing. And then I'm, I'm one hooping instead of three. It's beauty of the Hoop Envy machines. Yes, Hoop Envy. But real quickly, th this is so powerful, it, it killed me. Like, can you get rid of other stuff easily the other way? Yeah. But see, like, see that 99? Yeah. You don't want 99 on Yeah, the what if I didn't want 99 on him? What on, on the butt of the snowman? Yeah. He's in the third group. I'm looking for 99. Ah. 20. He's, 99 is mixed in with his uh, scarf. Yeah. That I can tell that by looking here, and then when it drew a line, it drew yep. all around there. This is when you use stitch level. Okay, so if you go up to stitch level, you could you could parse out the 99 um, and keep the scarf. <clears throat> okay. But yep. you don't need that to do the other stuff. If you wanted to just delete the entire color, you can do that here. But if you wanted to segment out the, what you're getting rid of... Well, I don't want to say you can't do it, but it's, it's more difficult. Yep, you have okay. to add stops and starts... Oh, yeah. You have to go in and say, start here, stop there, and change the color of the 99, and then you can get rid of the 99 because you've broken it apart. And I'm just thinking... But if you have stitch level, yeah. which is a deal of the day, uh, you can just go in and go, get rid of these specific stitches. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that's why I do stitch level. But you can do it with yeah. essentials. You can, but you have to put start, There's some stop, workarounds, yeah. change the color of 99, that breaks it apart from the scarf, and then you can delete the 99. Okay. I got gotcha. you. That bore everybody. No, I just love That was this interesting. Stuff. I thought, that, no, that was really interesting. I just I, love getting more out of my machine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, and that, like I said, that software for the cost of it is, when you start looking at the price of um, embroidery software, all that for 150 bucks is really good. The other thing I do, which, let's see if I can even find it on this one. <coughs> is on this one, I know, I know that she's going to do all this, all the trees are in the background. I know all the snowmen are in the foreground. Yeah. So I can change the order so I do all the same color at the same time. Okay. So I'm not changing my thread 50 times. Yep. I'm sorting because it. Because you're going to use that same green a bunch I of times. I yeah. color sort. Yeah. And, and just now all the snowman bodies are done all at once. All of these yep. bodies are done at once. Yep. Not this one stop, do some trees. Is it? No, and I can put all the black in last. At, at la okay. And that takes a good hour. So yep. set cool. the black up and let it rip. Cool. Is that it? Efficiency. Yeah, I know. No, it's good. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I, 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 no, I I'm a geek. Something. I'm a geek. <laughs> <laughs> no, I learned something. That's really cool.
Because I think a lot of times when you look at like tools like that, what's interesting is if you don't know what the tool does, there's it's hard to get into it, but once you right. realize it's well, exactly... Well, someone yeah. asked me, Becky, how do you learn it? And, and I'm, I'm like, here's how you learn it. You have something you want to accomplish. Yeah. Don't sit down with somebody. It's like your sewing machines. <laughs> Don't say, oh, Brent, I need my lesson. And they, you sit down and they show you where uh, all the is, buttons are, yeah. and you leave and you go, mm. That's you what don't I, remember I get that, that all way. the time. People come in, will you teach me how to use my machine? You come in I with can, a project. I can, but a project is a much better way to learn it. Same with this. You come in and you say, this is what I'd like to learn. I want to yeah. do this. Show me to do this. And then this. knowing and having that's an idea. That's how you learn. And having an idea of the capabilities of the tool allows you to match the project to it. Says, I know I can do this. Right. Show me how. Yeah. And that's what I like about these little tutorials like, is I can see what it can do. Danny and, wanted to do something last week, and, and she said, how, what, how far do I have to go? You know, which, which yeah. module do I need? And we sat down, and we quickly figured it out because they've got great charts. I go, for this yeah. project, Danny, you need this module. Don't spend less. Don't spend more. If you want to do this project and do it right, you need this amount of money. Yep. And then bada bing, bada boom. All right. What, is, what did she say? Wait, wait. What did she say about changing? I missed Don't it. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure she oh, that. yes, you can. Sorry, Victoria. Yeah. I did. I just didn't go into preferences. Yeah. She's absolutely right, though. I hated to go into preferences. You can have your hoop. Actually, you can list two hoops separately, which yeah. is what I do. I have a vertical hoop and a horizontal hoop. Oh, okay. So she's absolutely right. I could have picked my horizontal yeah. hoop. I think yep. if you go to the bottom of the screen where it says the hoop size. No. Double click it. Oh. Learn something every day. Yeah. I did not know I could just click that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And know. this is why I love hanging out. Learn something every day. I did not even know that. Thank you. Oh, my God, guys. You see that? I yeah. learned something. I saw something. I learn oh, something no. all the time. Every time I'm in here, I learn something. That's why I like it. Okay. Nobody can, nobody, I'm, so I'm learning, life is learning. Life is learning, Thank yeah. you. If I had known that, that I always go into preferences and pick the other hoop. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, so there. Love All right. that. Screenshot that. Um, thanks for watching another episode of Shenanigans with Brent and Becky. I hope you all learned something this week. Join us again next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. And remember, so on and be excellent to each other. Oh.